Danielle Collins is the dog-loving surprise star of American tennis with her own jewelry range. Sloane Stevens and Danielle Collins are both 25, both from Florida and both bright lights in American tennis. But while Stevens has won Grand Slam title and earned pound 10.4 million so far in her career, Collins is yet to break 1 million pounds as her stock continues to rise. The big hitting blonde was ranked 167 in the world when Stevens toasted the U.S. Open title in 2017 and went into 2019 without a single Grand Slam win to her name. A businesswoman off the court with a keen interest in holidays and her dogs, it says something she has included animal into her social handle on Instagram. Collins has risen from relative obscurity to breathing down the necks of fellow American Serena Williams and Madison Keys. Now the fourth highest ranked women's player in America, and boasting an Instagram following of 37,000, Collins has her eyes on toppling the game's elite. Born in Florida, Collins was a keen sportswoman but found tennis to be more enjoyable than gymnastics, football or swimming. Tennis is a notoriously difficult sport to crack at the elite level with private lessons more often than not accepted as part of the process. But for Collins, local courts with older players in the community would have to do. Speaking to the WTA last March, she said, I would hit against the wall as my mom jogged around. One day this group of older people who were around 80, were like oh, you're pretty good. Would you like to play some doubles with us? I was 8 years old. High school came and Collins soon emerged as the no one player in the country under the age of 18 but finances were tight at home and international tournaments were never a viable option. What was a viable option was college and with a £250,000 scholarship for the University of Virginia on the table, even taking a set off the future world no one Simone Halep at the 2014 US Open did not divert attention from taking the education route. Leaving college as the top-ranked player in 2016, everything appeared to be aligning for a player who has had to be patient to show her skill set on the biggest stage. Beating Keys at Indian Wells in March and Venus Williams at the Miami Open soon after, Collins has surged up the WTA rankings and knows winning a maiden Grand Slam could see her rise as high as World No. 15. She got her first main draw acceptance at the French Open last May and also played at Wimbledon but suffered first-round exits in both. With a run in a slam lucrative, and Collins limited to smaller and less financially rewarding tournaments, a keen interest off the court was vital. Collins' interests span beyond just forehand winners as she has also launched her own jewelry line, Danielle Collins Jewelry, which is to be launched in the next few months. But before then it is the small matter of an Australian Open semi-final having beaten Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova in three thrilling sets. She will go up against two-time Wimbledon champion Petra Kvitova after she produced a ruthless win over local hero Ashley Barty. Having demolished three-time Grand Slam champion Angelic Kerber in just 56 minutes earlier in the tournament, don't bet against this jewelry-selling Virginia graduate going all the way to glory.